everybody, it's Kaylee. I'm back with another thrift haul. We're gonna do a really quick rundown of some of the items I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet, also known as the Goodwill Bins, which is a place that you can buy items and pay by the pound. If you're not familiar with it, it's kind of a last chance place to buy items that didn't sell at regular thrift stores. To start, I found this in the hard goods section. This is a really nice men's messenger kind of laptop bag, and the brand is called Crumpler. When I did comps on this, it had a pretty decent sell-through rate, and in particular, I think this one is going to sell specifically because of the color blocking and um, the style design of it. I noticed the Messenger ones were doing a lot better. This one's in really good condition. I'll put some comps on the screen as to what I expect those to sell for. We also found some shoes while we were out digging. I found these pair of Birkenstock thong sandals. These will be great for the spring summertime. And I've mentioned this before, but if everything else is in good condition, but the footbeds are a little dirty, we still pick them up because they still sell. These ones are a size 37 if anyone's interested. I think that translates to, I think a six US maybe. These ones are gonna need a really good wipe down, but I mentioned in a recent video that I sold a pair of Y2K mud shoes. These are the brand mud as well and definitely a y2k style um again i've mentioned it before but i always look for the y2k chunky platform sandals so these ones will just need a quick um disinfectant wipe and it should take care of everything and i'll look up what these are going to sell for but again these sandals should do good during spring and summer and then these are another pair of sandals Kind of along the same lines, the footbeds need a little bit of a wipe down. I really like the kind of Aztec Southwestern look to them. I don't know why I said that. I guess they're more bohemian. But these are Danskos, which is a really good comfort brand shoe. And again, these are in pretty good condition, so we pick them up really looking for some leather sandals during this time of the year. Moving on to clothing, I'm gonna be real quick with these. This is a pair of Massimo Women's Plus Size New Attack Shorts, size 18. These are like a chambray denim, mainly picked them up because of the plus size and they were new attacks. Talbots is a brand we've been selling a lot of. These are size 12 and I did look up size 12 black dress pants and they were doing pretty good. Another pair of shorts, these are a men's BDG, which is Urban Outfitters, and we mainly got them because they were cut offs and had that um, grungy acid wash look to them. That one was more based on style. This is probably my favorite brand to pick up at the bins as far as lower comping goes. This is Knox Rose, a great bohemian brand with a good sell to rate, but something that doesn't sell for a ton, which is why we strictly pick it up at the bins. This is a women's size medium, and it is a tiered tie-dye midi dress. I might keep this one, it's really cute. This is the brand Bowden. It's also one that I'll just go ahead and pick up at the bins. I prefer to find things in dresses in this brand, but this is a nice little blouse that I thought would be good for spring. This is a Free People line, We The Free. I will definitely pick up Free People and We The Free at the bins in good condition. This is a size small, however, it is super oversized. It is like a cropped dolman sleeve turtleneck top. And it is super oversized and cropped, perfect for this brand, so this should do pretty good. That one feels like it's never been worn. This is made well. This is a size extra, extra small, um, but it was at the bins we picked up because it is a nice little gauzy wrap top. Thought that would be good for spring. In general, we try to stay away from tops unless it's at the bins. This needs a good steam, but it is linen pure jill, size large, and it is just a linen white jacket. This color should also do good during spring. Found these pair of Bomba socks, new with tags. Um, I just started learning about these socks. I'd never heard about them apparently a lot of people have. I just grabbed them because they were still in packaging. These shouldn't go for a lot, but they had a ridiculous sell to rate. And, uh, and one of our office employees told us that they actually donate for, yeah, it says here one pair purchase, one pair donated. So um, they do a lot for their community. 
This is a North Face beanie. Spell out around. I like picking up North Face at the bins. And it's reversible. I also found these pair of Marmot gloves. Marmot's a great brand to pick up. These are a size XXL and they're in pretty good condition. And they were even banded together, which was pretty cool. So they're really easy to find. These are called the Windstopper gloves and I saw they had a pretty good sell through rate. Another pair of shorts. These ones are a women's mom short by American Eagle. And they're also a size 14. And they have kind of that vintage acid y wash to them. Another pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the Festival, Festival? High Rise Festival shorts. And these are a size six. And they have like an Americana theme, which should help to sell them. Another pair of short denim shorts. We just picked these up because of the high rise and the distressing. These are just the brand Express and they're a size six. This is a women's Tommy Bahama silk shirt. We do really good with the men's Tommy Bahama silk shirts. I did look up the women's and it was doing pretty good. I think I am gonna call this vintage based on the style. Here's another We The Free Top. This one is a size extra small as well, but again, it could probably fit up to a medium. And this is just a waffle knit thermal kind of layered look top. This one also feels like it's never been worn. This is a Victoria's Secret kind of older label silk kind of like teddy top, I guess I'd call it. But I also thought it was kind of Y2K. Um, the bra area is uh, not sheer, but the rest of it is. And I just thought it was kind of a cute look that someone could wear with like a Y2K look. And it's kind of like a snakeskin print. These are a pair of Athleta. Size 16, it's a great size women's shorts. And they're like an athletic-y material. These feel like they've never been worn. Another free people item. This is just regular free people. Size spa and it is a long sleeve black rib top um, with some lace up details in the back. Kind of like a bodycon top. This is another Madewell piece, size medium. This is like a nautical uh, denim look oversized shirt. Button up. And lastly is just a Victoria's Secret women's size medium long sleeve sleep top that says love and it's got love embroidered there. All right, guys, so that's it for today's thrift haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you're not already and you would like to be, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. That way you'll get notified as I make new content. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.